हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम मिट सुभान अगेन बैक विद वीकली अपडेट ऑन बिटकॉइन एंड व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन इन होल मार्केट ब्रेकडाउन सेशन इट्स 15 ऑफ जुलाई 2023 सो गाइस लास्ट यस्टरडे डे बिफोर यस्टरडे वी सॉ अ ग्रैंड pump in xrp and we saw that whole market popped up then xrp retraces xrp retraces and whole market also retraced with it so a uh, two three events coming up with uh, xrp so Uh, this is my oldest session uh, when price was uh, somewhere here i don't have record of those videos i was looking today uh, for those videos but i didn't save those at that time when um, i was uh, taking sessions with my discord members on daily basis so that was uh, very old perception of me what's going on and what are my levels next levels and how things will go up from here so let me hey one minute give me one minute okay okay so i will repeating that uh, the those things again here on bitcoin chart i will start from weekly i will mark up few levels important levels here then will slowly come down to uh, daily intraday charts and intraday uh, plans so first of all we know that uh, the the structure from here that was Uh, the range high deviated here all time high and then broke down structure broke here we uh, little pop up and then this bear market started consolidation here broke out and now again consolidating here this is whole market thesis now on basis of this breakdown of structure of bitcoin i will explain where did market uh, is heading and what are the probabilities on higher time frames let me remove everything after breakdown of uh, this uh, structure here we got our first bearish order block proper bearish order block of this whole bear market which never tested it didn't tested yet so might be uh it's might be a 4450 k zone it's on table you never know it's a crypto market so that test is remaining here that is proper order block not a supply zone that is order block supply zone is this one this one people say it's order block but it's not an order block it's a supply zone so that's why price is not going down nor going up slowly bleeding then reclaim slow bleeding then a good pop up a best uh, if someone is waiting for a proper rejection like this that will be the zone that it may be come in 3 4 months or maybe it didn't come in this year but that a probable a uh, probability of those who bought here they will sell up here so that's order block so keep this thing in your mind on a higher time frame and uh, keep in mind as well that we are discussing weekly chart not daily or not four hour chart now i will mark uh, one level sr level here i will take candle candle here i am not taking vix vix play tricks so better to closing of candle 
after corona market this dump uh, this was a corona dump here after that price uh, moves up and first retracement was this one so that was a proper uh, range created here and after uh, that retracement price took first support here so that's a historical and uh, uh, important level this one it is i will mark it precisely here to the dollar value okay so we have our sr level here i will count out how uh, market structure lately first i am going for a uh, technical things we have sr level uh, sitting here now one more thing uh, uh, is uh, happening here which is called this trend line this is a rising wedge it is So some kind of rising wedge is also forming. What are uh, the uh, what is what is definition of rising wedge? Rising wedge means price slowly going up in a channel. Once it broke down below this channel, like it is going up, support going up, up, up. Maybe a we saw a breakout, fake breakout in breakdown, retest, bank. So now I'm trying to, uh, because we are in mid in 2023, six months from here for 2024 and then halving the event. So we have uh, almost 10 months remaining for halving of BTC. That is a proper time for the, uh, I think, a bull run. So I'm preparing myself for that bull run starting. Before that run, we have, have an event which we call Capo Teacher. Uh, Capi Teachulation. So I didn't uh, pronounce it uh, properly. My tongue trouble a bit on this word. But yes, like this. We I don't have data before 2022 here because that is a simple BTC USDT chart on Binance. Binance also came in 2020. So early 2020, it came in the market. So that's why I have this data here. If I check out uh, uh, another one, uh, we have which exchange is oldest exchange in the market. That's it there which one is by bit i don't think so they have there is early 2021 now uh, here it is gone coinbase oldest market uh sorry oldest chart in the market so before that bull run we have breakout here price came back to those order blocks and then slowly 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 going 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 going, going and then breakout bank same i'm expecting here i will mark again those sr level sorry i'm not marking here because coinbase price is different from binance we using most of the people use binance that's why i'm looking into binance chart so yes, a rising wedge happen here. Now, what I'm thinking here. Came here down a bit, retest of that downtrend line here. Breakout of that SR level, that is a major level. Remember, look at those steps and look at that reaction. Price tapped here, reacted, retested, look at that reaction tab reacted so that is very very important crucial level for bitcoin to hold it's a uh, 
SR level so if it stabilizes above this level that order block is then we will see that order block because there is nothing between in the order block and this price action a hollow so that's an important level price came here breakout here breakdown go retest and bank another thing broke out here as well give proper broke out here reclaim here broke down and then trap first all of us uh, all the traders all the community then go down here now with this chart I am matching one more confluence. Uh, let me where it is. I am opening CME chart here. I will show you what I'm looking into it and Okay, BTC CME weekly chart is open here. Same thing I, I have marked on this chart as well. But we have another things as well here. It is bleeding right now. But if that SR level on Bitcoin, this one is broke out here, we have SR level here as well, broke out here, but here we have this gap, this one. So tapped in this gap and then come down to fill this gap. The thesis which I'm generating here on Bitcoin is based on this chart. We have up uh, we have our uh, order uh, sorry gap here on CME chart so tap here fill that gap and come down to this gap then slowly 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 keep then go up towards those levels and then maybe that that is that will be a time of uh, uh if this price uh, hold it here maybe it doesn't hold here it come to test those levels um, it come down to test some more levels this level as well who, who knows but probability is that it will hold here and then bounce proper bounce from here so that is my thesis on higher time frame on bitcoin another thing uh, there was uh, a trend line I think this one was it is but that is not proper trend lines broke out retest down 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 so here is another trend line to support this lower trend line here so yeah it might be a, a possible uh, retracement here and then go back up now I will go to uh, daily levels then we'll check out market structure and then we'll share uh, arts analysis and uh, daily plan yes remember this uh, uh, breakout do you guys remember this one that falling wedge Hopefully you guys remember we had our orders as well here. We had our orders uh, here on this order block. A bit of position was taken here when I gave you a proper all in call in discord that that is a zone by whatever you want. We got a good reaction. So why I'm trying again it? this we got a breakout where is the retest we didn't get retest yes technically that was a final 
target it hit okay cl uh, case closed but where is the retest of this uh, proper uh, falling wedge we have rising wedge and we had falling wedge as well so wedge in a wedge new term invented today wedge in a wedge yes so if price came here to those levels there we have too many things to support i will check ema 200 as well yes 200 ema is also lining here so that is a good zone uh, for uh, support here till this sr level and uh, we had that monthly fpg here so yes the good zone for buying here in this zone if uh, it shows some strength buying here stops below here targeting this zone here up sr level and this trend line uh, retest again if this rising wedge didn't uh, uh, what we call it uh, uh, broke down but i don't think so it will broke down one tap here two taps so third tap is probably will be remaining one two three three trap on lower time frame uh, fourth here uh, compress price here start compressing here then will be a proper breakout if breakdown from here then we will simply look for longs in this zone because we have order blocks here so yes a probably good time for looking longs here that will be a good zone if i uh, check out exact levels that is a range low and assuming that this point this point is my range high it will not go up here i'm just assuming so i have golden pocket here also matching so 27 500 27 300 is a good zone for uh, buying mid term and going up so yes for looking for longs in this zone okay it's also matching here rising wedge uh, retest remaining this lower trend line is also supporting here 200 ema is also in support so assuming my range we had this uh, what we call it golden pocket as well now after daily i have my one more thing i will uh, explain here with this sr level combining should have explained in early starting of my session but now i will explain when this move happened it started uh, proper bear market because structure broke here a proper lower high is created a slope bounce here range created slope bounce and then we created our first bearish order block which retested here and then goes back now i'm um, just simply simple here keep it simple so that uh, the thesis of mine to buy here in this zone this order block also supports me so there are high probability high chance of price it already tagged three four times here it is uh, resisting taking whenever it tag it slap down tag slap down so this order block may might play out again here then that shift in the market which came here after breaking down here so support of these all other confluences so i have this idea uh, this order block as my uh, confluence as well i will remove now everything on daily will check out on uh, lower time frame keep this order block in your mind because on lower time frame i will explain what happened so it will uh, uh, what we we is uh, we call it uh, it will help us to understand the current market structure and what should be the next move of intraday now i'm explaining like daily char uh, uh, daily uh, what happened on daily you can also minimize this uh, order block to h4 as well let me go back again to minimize it on h4 
that one. This one. It tagged here on edge port and good reaction first time we saw a good reaction now again marking uh, range same old story from bitcoin which i'm waiting for these lows to be taken out fill this fpg show some strength target monthly fpg above so that thesis remains the same let me mark range again here on lower time frame and here range high range low swept down again broke out uh, deviated point so range low is here we have this important very important of uh, level of this range this whole range we have this important level why it is important i will explain it to you in a bit so let me mark it precisely here changing its color to blue because this important one and i will mark now mid of the range uh, from here till here 0.5 is my mid So somewhere here, adjust it by yourself on your chart. Let me move it now. The blue blue line is SR. And this black is mid range. this is mid range so don't be confused in these two levels now what's what price did here now it's time to study the market structure here technical analysis on higher time frame now on lower time frame we will study market structure lows are still pending from here i will start w shape recovery means structure break here we created bullish order block h4 here yes we created h4 order block here so when this break out here uh, sr level uh, from sr level it retraced to order block slowly goes up sr level again push price back to the order block and then we got a proper breakout with xrp pump and then another green dildo into h4 higher time frames order block to the downside again that pump gave us bos here which shows the strength of the uh, what we call it uh, strength in the market that it shows the strength in the market but after bos we got our order block here small order block which is now acting as breaker for yesterday night this dumped and structure break here again hopefully you understand now i will mark it clean clean what we will call it clean first choch here okay we created our order block here bullish order block it is yes price tagged in goes up here and again 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 what was the target of this choch this one so this target is swept out but then after that choch we got a bus which shows that this trend will continue up so after we got a bus we had again this level one level here order block this is a proper order order block and we had our sr level with as a demand zone sr level with a proper proper demand zone on lower time frame on h1 if i see this is retested here and it goes up without retest it didn't go it did retest here 
but the problem here now it is that after this BUS we should have held it that order block but we didn't what happened next we are we again structure shifted so this is range play this is how you look uh, you take decision on the in in the range play you will see the recent event what recent event happened recent event happened that it it gave us a proper chocch here so i will ignore this structure because we are in range play we are playing in a range so this this chocch happened here this was its target it matched already so i will ignore it now this chocch happened lower low created so the, i will mark my bearish order block this one if price came here i will short simple i will short it to the this level that will be my uh, target here that ch to ch happened here now what is my plan we have mid range and sr level and i am assuming this range here again this range so my golden pocket is also matching with sr level and this imbalance the great imbalance is also here so this is my first zone of interest to short here go down from here if it not if it goes again up here i will short here i will check out uh, uh, volumetric zones this is forming here also this is also forming here so it means that we might see a pop up here again to retest these levels so my plan is to wait to for uh, bitcoin wait for bitcoin here a bit to gain strength i will mark only a proper here in mid range if it comes here stabilizes about this level i will took along here in this zone i am not interested yet because it might get rejected at mid range again so that is also a possibility so if it it uh, above mid range it uh, stabilizes i will look for long till the here a scalp it will be a scalp with tightened stop loss at 0 0.4 percent or 0 0.3 percent of stop loss otherwise i will be out so that is my plan Stay here i'm doing nothing if it straight came here down then i will look for longs otherwise i'm not interested in this zone or below mid-range zone yes on retest on this uh, mid-range where will you put stop loss here and that will be your target so that is also not worth you after 0 0.5 hour so yes if it rejected here at mid range and it gives uh, like uh, something like this here is the path 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 here it gives something like on m15 uh, bang bang up rejected retested successfully rejected and then like after retest if i got this type of structure break here with smt here divergent smt with usdt dominance or some kind of sweep here maybe before that structure shape price again go up to sweep a, a wick sometime some kind of wick here like m5 m15 sweep then m15 shift here retest are on uh, mm. what we side uh, what we call it on retest are or in bearish order block here i will just try a short with stop loss above here and then I target this zone so that's a good uh, uh, scalp here otherwise if stabilizes above here i will look into it longs still here 
if i'm not i didn't get any long yes surely i will look for shorts here that's a zone for me for shorts i will find another two three confluence with that okay uh, another confluence yes checking out where is monday high and monday low oh, too many things open i personally i'm also confused on to got confused on many levels previous week month daily where is daily monday was open daily i don't need we are open price is on already on daily okay we have sr levels we have previous week high here and we have monday high as well here meeting also ending in three minutes ten minutes also ending here so yes might be a retest of this and then go for previous week low that's also a matching confluence now quickly i will go to the um, xrp xrp no why i will uh, just tell you why uh, ours are uh, going up no need of going into the coins analysis i give you uh, king analysis so act accordingly uh, btc dominance CHOCH tabbed in daily order block here and then boom this move cause whole mark every altcoin pumped up every each and without kava kava didn't pumped i was checking it so this move happened here so yes there we have another uh, we have room as well more room for the pumps pump dump is going up so that is the proper uh if uh, ptc dominance decreased to, uh, in the uh, till this zone we will see more pump here so if 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 it accepted below this range that is daily range i will show you the range fuck you man this this is daily weekly range this so it accepted below here and it start going down that will be a buying zone of ours acceptance and that will be our selling zone so when btc dominance came here sell all your hours and enjoy yourself first target will be this one and then this one so i am telling you that due to this drop on dominance on btc what does dominance means it means that the money which was in bitcoin is shifting in alts why it is shifting in alts we have total three for alts to check whether the money is coming into alts or not yes look at this like 33 it went up to 33 billion dollars to 37 billion dollars like 42 billions injected in R coin so that's 42 billion was i was checking when xrp pumped the, its volume was 10 billion and after that pump it uh, volume went up after first hour it volume went up to 40 billion so 30 billion was injected only in xrp so slowly money will be injected again like this is range high if i mark it it is stabilizing here total three will go up it means money is coming from this chart from this chart to this chart so that's mean arts will up go up if money start coming into this chart in usdt dominance the both are rugged if this goes up then usdt dominance will also drop and total three will also drop this is the father of these two charts so yes btc dominance is going up sorry going down that's why bitcoin is uh, going down as well and moving sideways while arts are one by one popping up today uh, many arts popped up so i'm wrapping my session here uh, yes it's enough now look at this arts 4.4 percent to their slowly they are gaining strength bitcoin is negative here 
and all salt green look at mostly all salt green uh, green 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 so yes we will see today in discord uh, our um, trader friend ahmed gave proper comp called uh, call that was a perfect snipe but i was sleeping at that time from 66 to 72 something it is still 12 percent up so they called that uh, today's price uh, one pump so yes this is what happened here this is what's happening on the in the market so act accordingly watch out our charts watch out more different thesis study different thesis make your kind of bias first then according to your bias make your plan then execute it during execution there might be a you will think like should i go for it or should i don't if you make that plan before like like i'm making my plan i make it i will wait for the price if price came to me it means i will execute it if it goes uh, according to me i will simply execute if my um, i got another thoughts i leave it i will check it later so i will miss take a mistake make a mistake here because i have to take a risk if risk is there you will you will have some reward and risk should be managed one percent two percent three percent not more than three percent of your entire portfolio so act accordingly and grind slowly and you will one day you will be the millionaire inshallah thank you thank you for joining me see you in next uh, session good night and allah peace thank you guys